Hi, this is Adam George with the Red Carpet Report. And we're here at the Pacific Design Center for the season two premiere of Bosch from Amazon Studios. Well, Colin, Adam Key, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Mike. So, Michael, I have to ask, what is it like having your, your, uh, your offspring of 25 well, years having a show, season two? You hit the key point there, say 25 years. So I've been living with this guy in words for 25 years and kind of out of words to describe. It's pretty fulfilling. It's really cool, you know. It's... Uh, most of my time with Harry Bosch has been in a little room by myself. And now we have sets and we have real flesh and blood actors playing these characters. It's kind of beyond words and beyond imagination. It's really cool, especially because they're doing it right. And I'm so happy about what we've done. That's what I was going to uh, ask that next. Means a lot. Is how, when you go on the sets and you're there behind the camera watching everything happen, how close is everything to how you saw it in your head when you were creating it? It's very, it's very close. I mean, you know, Titus is the consummate Harry Bosch because of what he somehow can project from inside. Harry's very internal. You know, Titus doesn't look exactly like the guy in the book, but that doesn't matter. On the inside, he looks a lot like him, and he's able to project that. And it's, you know, it's, I get very emotional about it because he, he just nails it. And uh, I couldn't be happier. That's all you can ask for. I mean, you know plots and uh, fancy stuff and forensics is all it's all important but it's window dressing on character so if you can't nail the character you're gonna have a problem and Titus nails the character uh, uh, all our actors Lance Reddick nails the character uh, Jamie Hector Amy Aquino and then like people that are not in every episode they're just fantastic Mimi Rogers Came, came in for, uh, I think it's either one or two episodes in this season, repri reprising a role that she played in the first season, and she just, like, knocks it out. It's so cool. It's just really great. That's amazing. That's amazing. How, if you can, just a little quickly describe a bit of your process, when you kind of set a standard with season one going to season two, where you're really taking bits and pieces, of yeah. points from different books, different stories, and kind of forming a new story out of them. What is it that kind of drives you? know, I'm going to take this part from Trump music, this part from Last Coyote, well, this part from this. Our, our main goal is to deliver the character of Harry Bosch, and in the books, he's very internal, and you can't you can't th ever say what he's thinking. So we have to go into the books and look through them and look for moments of where he acts and and his actions reveal who he is. And so we can't be fettered by it can only come from this book. There's, right now, there's 19 books, so the, uh, the word is take what you need. You know, we'll pick a book that's like the spine of the story, but then take what you need because we, because who knows how many times we get to do this. So don't, I don't want to ever put something aside and say, that's our sixth season. It's like, <laughs> who knows if we'll get there. We have to be fantastic every season, so we, we take what we need. And, you know, I have confidence in our writers and in myself because I'm, I'm still writing, I'm writing a Harry Bosch book now. So I'm going to keep filling up the tank. It will fill up the tank so there will always be good stuff. So if you see, I tell every writer on the show, if you see something in a book that you think we can use and it will d help deliver this character, then, then take it. It's a good place to be. Sorry, I keep cutting no, no, you off. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> uh, just one final question in regards to the books. Right now, in the, the novelizations of Harry Bosch, he's not with the LAPD. He's a private eye, more or less. Did a job with his brother. Where do you kind of see Harry moving forward without giving up too much of your new story? Uh, I'll tell you, I mean, they just announced the, the title of my next book. It's called The Wrong Side of Goodbye. And that title, I spent a lot of time coming up with it. And to me, it has a real resonance of Chandler S, The Long Goodbye, stuff like that. So I, that's a clue. I'm going back to my roots. I, I'm a writer because I was found myself under the spell of Raymond Chandler. He wrote the great Private Eye novels. Harry's had a good career as a cop. Now he's a Private Eye novel. And I'm going back to my roots and writing a story that uh, hopefully can stand um, in the shadow of Raymond Chandler. I mean, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm only about halfway done. But, um, but I have a title, and they put out a nice cover today. So... If you got a title on the cover, writing the books is the easy part. <laughs> so, uh, so that's where I'm going with that. Fantastic. So. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, thanks Michael. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Look it. forward to more, Harry. All right. All right. Well, thanks for checking out the Red Carpet Report for Bosch Season 2 premiere. If you like what you saw, hit the like below. Make sure to leave some comments and, you know, subscribe. Check out some more videos. Come on back. We're here every day, all the time. 
We never stop bringing the news to you.